young person in, Sunday, in, in youth class. Now, I know this is a little bit overreaching. If I were to do it, believe me, I'd have some parents mad. But I remember in youth class when I was young, and they, they let you agree to this or not agree to it. And I was one didn't care. I agreed to it. The youth pastor gave us a piece of paper that said, Do you agree that the youth pastor and his spouse can take the phone of the young person and look through that young person's phone at the pictures, at the text messages, at the browsing history? They were trying to keep us in check. And I signed that. I thought, well, you know, I don't care. They can look at my phone. Lord in heaven, in heaven, if I were to ask the children tonight if I could look at their phones, I promise you that I have some mad parents. I asked the kids tonight, I said, or Wednesday night, I said, would you feel comfortable for me to ask for all of your phones tonight and ask me to give your password and give me the authority to go through every one of your phones and look at what you've been looking at and to, and to look at what you've been sending and look at your Snapchat, look at your Instagram posts that you wanted to post. Would you feel comfortable? A lot of them, they looked very nervous. They thought I was going to do it. I said, I'm not going to invade your privacy. But I wonder how many of our young people, I'm not talking about in this just church tonight, I'm talking about in general, the young people of this day and time, they have got a secret place that they're hiding away in. And if we're not careful as parents and grandparents and leaders, you can allow that young person to get in that secret place and it's become a secret place of sin. You need to do everything within your power to keep your youngins out of the secret place of sin. Don't allow them to put a, a, a pen on their phone that you don't have access to. You don't allow them to access the internet and let them look at what they want to. You better know everywhere they're going, everything that they're saying, every picture that they're taking, you better go into the recently deleted and look to see what's been deleted. I know young people you're probably saying, shut up brother Daniel, but I'm trying to get you out of the secret place of sin because God's looking for somebody that will come back into his presence into that secret place of prayer and you can't do it if you're living in a secret place of sin. Don't allow the enemy to pull you into that secret place, to get you into that dark place where there's no lights, there's nobody there, there's no accountability don't allow it because you'll find yourself